Hello, hello, once again, welcome to Agile Tech. In this lesson, I'm going to show you six Microsoft Excel tricks that will change your life. Okay, without much ado, let's jump straight to the action. The first trick you are going to look at is jumping from a worksheet to another worksheet. You notice in Microsoft, the entire document over here is called a workbook. But if you come down here, we have separate pages in which we can refer to as worksheet. So how then do you move from one worksheet using a command? So to move from one worksheet to the other, you can easily press down control plus the page down. So if I press control plus the page down key, you notice that I'm able to jump from what? One worksheet to the other, another, in the opposite direction. And when I press the page down, I also move in what? The opposite direction. So basically to move from one worksheet, when you have several worksheets within your workbook, the basic or the fastest way in which you can navigate through those worksheets is by pressing and then holding down the page up and then the page down this will enable you to move through your work what your worksheet okay the next point i'm going to talk about is how to jump to the end of a data range or to the next data range so on my page on my page three i have some few data wire so this is a data range we have a data range over in which we can jump so let me delete the total from here Okay, so we want to jump from one data range to the other. The basic way in which you can jump. So if you want to jump from member to likes, I can easily use what? The control plus the right arrow. And I can easily jump to what? The next range. What about jumping from the likes to the bottom here? So I can easily do that by pressing down what? Control plus the down arrow. And then in the opposite direction, so you can use control plus the arrow key to move around what your range of data. Okay, in Excel. The next point I'm going to talk about is how to add select a range of data. Okay, let's talk, let's take it that way. How to select a range of data. So within the member range, how then do I select everything within this range or this column? I can easily do that by pressing down the control shift and pressing on the arrow key so i can easily press that by selecting that particular what column or within the range i can equally do so for another range so let's say i've selected this entire heading the heading for this column i can select everything control shift and then it will select the entire range for me control plus shift and then what you press down the arrow key it will select the entire range for you if you decide to press only shift it to select go by cell by cell in that order okay now we start using the right arrow and to move it column by what column okay so you can use when you talk about how to copy a formula let me see let me come down here and say total so i'm going to give a total over here okay so you want to use a strategy or you want to use a formula assume we have the total here then we get a total down here we don't want to drag it down we can easily use by double clicking we can easily copy that particular formula to generate the total for the rest of our values within the range okay so if i select this and i get my total okay so if i get my auto sum by selecting and dragging this how then do i get the total sum using the same formula to generate for the rest of my document or my data within my worksheet you notice when you select there you have the small button showing that when you double click on that you notice that it will automatically do the auto generation for the rest we so could by double clicking i will do that again if i double click on this button i'll get a total for the rest you notice the same formula generating that for me okay and the fifth point our fifth point is how to use shortcut keys some important shortcut keys quickly to format the values so assume i want the likes to be into a two decimal places how then do i do that you can easily use control shift control shift plus what one when you press that on your keyboard it will generate what it will give you into two decimal places if i press control plus shift one notice that it has generated what 56 point what zero zero if i come here control shift plus one i'll equally get that into two decimal places 
okay how then do you get the dollar symbol or how do we get the dollar sign you can easily do that by pressing assume i want this to be in dollars control shift control shift plus four you can easily check if i want this also in dollars control what shift four We'll move down into dollars for us so you notice this are the shortcut keys in which we can easily use to format our values within excel what about if you want a percentage percentage can also be done by pressing ctrl shift plus what five and then it will move everything to a percentage so assuming what we are trying to get over is going to be in percentage ctrl plus what ctrl shift plus five on the keyboard okay that will easily give us a percentage okay so how then do we okay so our last point our last point will be how to number number your values so let's say i want to apply some number over here so i'm going to start from one then two if i want to get three or get for the rest i just have to select these two together select the two click on the small box over here drag it down and then i'll get the number for the rest okay we just have to drag down to the last number and then it will generate the number so let's select it you have to select the first two in order to create the pattern so if i want it to be multiples of two i'll go to two four then when i select everything down here and click on the box when i drag it, my numbers will be in multiples of what, two okay so basically this is some quick or some quick way in which you can enhance your excel skills in order to boost your workload whenever you have something to do when you know these few techniques it's really going to help you a lot remember you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload what a new series or new videos we are going to create a whole series on excel so remember you need to what, subscribe and get updates whenever we upload new video you get access to that